Welcome to the Gilinor Games. 12 of your favorite content creators have been split up into two teams, Team Europe and Team North America. On this season, we're going to find out who has what it takes to survive until the end. Each week, the teams will be put to the test through challenges, and each week, one person will get eliminated. There's no room for error. Let's see who's up for the challenge. Gilinor Games and this channel have both been nominated for a Golden Gnome, which is kind of like the Oscars of RuneScape. If you guys would like to vote for me or any of the other amazing creators that were also nominated, make sure to check the link in the description and cast your vote. Thank you and enjoy the episode. But first, a word from today's sponsor, ExpressVPN. Let's say for some reason that Gilinor Games was blocked in your country. It means you'd be missing out on the epic challenges, fierce competition, and Framed and Jimmy constantly roasting each other. Well, by using ExpressVPN, you don't have to worry because you can just switch your server to a country that doesn't have GG blocked and you'll never miss out. It's especially great for shows on Netflix like Rick and Morty that you can't access on US Netflix, but you can still watch by switching your server on ExpressVPN to the UK, which has it available. You'll never have to worry about missing out because with ExpressVPN, you can be everywhere. A VPN creates a secure tunnel between your device and the internet. Your browsing data and personal information are protected against hackers, scammers, ad companies, and even your ISP. It helps protect your privacy by utilizing the highest encryption standard and by masking your IP address no matter the device that you're on, allowing you to browse the web anonymously. The servers are constantly faster than any other VPN provider, they offer 24-7 customer support, and they are constantly rated as the top VPN provider on the market. Find out how you can get three months free by clicking the link in the description box below, expressvpm.com soup. It's a great offer for an incredible service. I really can't recommend it enough. Welcome back to another week of Gilinor Games and welcome to the beautiful Lumbridge Swamp. Where's the, where's the clap guy? <laughs> Guys, we're now down to seven players. Team NA, you lost the first two challenges and we're down to four players, but after the last challenge, you've won three straight and for the first time this season, have a one player advantage over Team EU. I'd say that our recent successes in the challenges are all because of a simple three step plan that we figured out after losing the second challenge. Number one, do better in the challenges. Number two, hope that Team EU gets cocky. And number three, execute Jimmy. I mean, get rid of Jimmy. Hold on a second, was Frame telling you about one of his plans, one of his grand schemes? Okay, look, that guy has not made a singular plan in his entire life. The dude couldn't even tell you what time zone he lives in, let alone make a plan. Europe, this is a big challenge for you guys. If you don't win today, you're down to two players. After today's challenge, over half of the original 12 competitors will have been eliminated. But I have to say guys, congratulations on making it this far. You guys are still quite a ways away from winning that 1 billion GP and hoisting the Gilinor Games trophy, but you're getting closer. Stay focused, do your best, and you won't get sent home. Nice and easy. We may be down a player, but that doesn't mean confidence isn't still high. We're Team EU for God's sake. As long as we pull out a win today, we're back to winning ways, and more importantly, back to even teams, which is going to be huge going forwards. Now, Team EU is out of substitutions, but Team NA still has three available. However, before today's challenge, I was told by all the Team NA members that they would not be substituting today, so once again, Alkin will not be making an appearance. At the end of last week, I hinted that we'd be going back to where it all began. In the distance, you guys might recognize a little place called Tutorial Island. Today, you guys are heading back there. Oh my god! <laughs> last year, I made a video on the old school RuneScape speedrunning community and mainly focused on the Tutorial Island speedrunning record. Today. You guys are going to compete with that record. Today's challenge is called CN Lumby. This challenge is unlike any that you've done already. I think it's safe to say that none of you have experience with this. It's all about how quickly you guys can click, adapt, memorize, and run, and maybe have a bit of RNG on your side. Your goal today is to complete Tutorial Island as fast as possible. Your time starts when you leave the character creation screen, and your time ends as soon as you appear in Lumbridge. Now you'll be able to attempt this as many times as you'd like, however, don't forget, every time one of your attempts ends, you'll need to make a new account, log in, and start again. Everything is fair game on the island except for using alternate accounts to help speed up your time. Any help from another account will result in that run being disqualified. The team with the fastest average completion time will win today's challenge and be safe from the banning. Each team is going to have 25 minutes to prepare for their attempts, and I'll provide you guys with some helpful videos and resources to get you started. But after that, you're on your own. Oh, and by the way, 
The fastest time to ever complete Tutorial Island is 2 minutes and 54 seconds, set by research in 2019. If any of you beat that record today, not only will you automatically win today's challenge, but you get to choose who gets eliminated. No banning, they're going straight home. Good luck you guys, and I'll see you on the island. So uh, the easiest way that we can do this, I will go uh, run through it really quick. Right now, you should all log in to a new account, Tutorial Island. Take it slowly, and we're going to go and tag each individual uh, place that we need to click. With so like, it's a Rune simple... Light? Yes, with Runlight. I had recently done a couple of challenges on my own that involved doing Tutorial Island as quickly as possible. So to prepare for this challenge, everyone on the team made a new account, and we walked through the entire process of speedrunning Tutorial Island together. This way, we all had a good idea of what to do when the challenge actually began. I'm actually gonna write a script down. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was just writing down that. everything that this guy's just done. Spacebar, spacebar, one. We can do it like Slayer music. Should we, should we put together like a little script now? And we'll all follow it. Yeah, yeah, let's let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Uh, I'd say we both do it because I might miss something. So it might be worth us yeah. in case we miss something, either of us. To prepare for the challenge, we watched a lot of videos on Tutorial Island speedruns, the world record. The plan's to have the list up while we're doing our runs, so we always know what to do depending on where we are. Right, so he gets in, spacebar. We can literally just write it down like that, spacebar one. Oh, this guy does something very, very Jeez. smart. He sets up his F keys as he's running into the cave. Any questions? What are you guys still confused about? What do you need? Um, I'm gay. So, okay, for most things, as soon as you see the item, you can use it. You don't need to finish the dialogue. Yeah, as or do soon you need, as do you, you see the item, you can use it. So you don't need to finish dialogues? Uh, you do not need to finish dialogues. The second you see the item, you can use it. Is okay. everyone clear on that? Yep. That's okay. All I need to know. Tutorial Island consists of three main sections, two above ground sections and one underground section. In the first above ground section, the competitors must complete the tasks given by the survival expert, the master chef, and the quest guide. In the underground section, they'll need to complete the tasks given by the mining instructor and combat instructor. In the third and final section, they'll need to complete tasks at the bank from the account guide, from the prayer instructor, and the magic instructor. While RNG does play a role in finishing the run as quickly as possible, other factors play a much larger role in saving time. Knowing when you can skip dialogue, tick perfect clicks, pre-positioning your mouse and camera angles, a lot can be done to save time. Whichever team adapts and learns the fastest today will be the one who wins. For the first time this season, we've got into a challenge with less players than Team NA. Hopefully today we can make the teams even again. It's time to become a level three. The team with the fastest average time to complete Tutorial Island will win today's challenge. I wish you noobs good luck. Your time starts now. Right, I've got my account. As soon as I click accept, we get to go. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. Where is he? There he is, spacebar. Oh, I fucked it already. Same.
437 for my first one. I got 418 for my first uh, successful one. F you, Adventure John. I'm logging the f out. Well, that was fun. What was I got 358. Time? Oh, wow. Just kidding. <laughs> oh. I got 420. I don't want to. Oh, f me. Right. I think I've done my first one. I just got 4 minutes 23 and I probably wasted about 20 seconds. I asked Look, about Iron like... Man. F <laughs> I literally. Uh, what? Yes, I want to become an Iron Man. No! <sighs> oh my god, I bodged it. How do I go to the mainlands? What are you planning to become an Iron Man? What do I say? No, I'm not planning to do that. Just send me there. This challenge is aggravating. It might not seem that bad, but every time you make a mistake, you're just thinking, oh, I gotta make a new account again, which is very annoying because you feel like you're wasting a bunch of time. Oh, and also drop your items while you're going. That's a good shout, yeah. Because that will save you, you, you a lot of You have to uh, right-click drop, though. And you drop everything except yes. for the bronze dagger. Yeah, so you, you can play and fix screen, but only change it when you're running in between areas. That's the only time you should change it. I feel like my times are just going to get worse and worse. Maybe that 4 minute 20 I got at the start is pretty decent. Then. I'm not brand new. I'm not brand new. Yeah, I know. It's annoying every single time. As, that's f***ed up my whole run. I learned how important ping is. I mean, ping's important for PVM, but I didn't realize it was even more important for speedrunning. You know, if you if you over click a door or path wrong, it's you can pretty much throw your run in the in the bin. Uh, mentally as well, you know, the the hardest part for me was not even to the rats, which is RNG based. It was trying not to be frustrated with yourself by losing game ticks, basically. No, I missed a step. F oh, mate. All right. Get off of this account. I'm just Xing out. I'm X locking. <laughs> I was done. Mm. Doomed. <laughs> Straight X locked. <laughs> the most annoying part of running, I would have to say, was the rats. The rats f me. Rat RNG. The RNG on the rats was just ridiculous. There, there was so many times where I would just go in uh, on a pretty good run, like maybe very minimal mess ups. I even had one, like I, I that was relatively tick perfect. Are you kidding me? I regen. You, you little rat. I just could not hit on the fucking rat. Right, hit these rats. The first run I did, I absolutely nailed the rat. And now I'm just hitting zeros. No, dude, what the f The one round, or one run, where I was going to have a really good time, everything was going perfect. I was attacking the the rats, and I just kept hitting zeros and zeros and zeros. I think I hit them for like a minute straight. I was so upset. Dude, are you f***ing serious? I was so angry. bring you the sights and sounds of Tutorial Island. Here, oh my god, I f***ed it up. Why don't oh, you... Boys. What is the log doing, bro? <laughs> Why didn't you burn the log? <laughs> Logs have feelings too, Tom. There's no way. How have I just randomly ran out of run on this run? Great. But we're gonna do it anyway. I'm losing my mind. Hey, look, it's soup. I've hit about nine zeros in a row. No. Ten. Dude.
moved. That was I hit two ones back to back. Oh, it's regen. Yeah, this run's done. F you adventure, John. That's so f unfair. F me. F f How much? Game. Oh, f I fucked it up twice in a row now. And <laughs> now you're kept you getting angry. Oh man, okay. I'm not a fan of that. Oh, I've just fully just messed it up. All right, I've already fucked it. Erg, 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 erg. <laughs> You can actually burn in hell, you little f***ing rat. Ah, <sighs> oh, f*** it. I've made too many stupid mistakes. Oh, this challenge is horrible. No! Oh my god. I ran away a, a tick too early. F*** me. Oh, feds. Forcing yourself to make new accounts over and over and just knowing that it probably isn't enough to be able to get a really quick time really does take a toll. But hey ho, you've got to do what you've got to do to win. And we are winning this challenge, let me tell you. I would say most of us had at least one run that went fairly well. The thing is though, what might be a good time for you might be a bad time for others. So everyone was kind of on edge wondering if their best time was good or not. Uh, in the end, I was able to uh, continually perfect my time, and I think around my fourth run, I had my best time. And after that, I kept making even more and more accounts, but it just was never as good as that fourth run there. I beat it by two seconds. Did actually save two seconds there. I think I messed up the end twice. There's just so many small variables that made it really difficult. And uh, to be honest, I felt like giving up about after, after about two tries. It was really hard. Welcome back to the mainland, guys. Great challenge as usual. I could definitely tell some of you enjoyed it a bit more than others. Now it's time to find out which team enjoyed it a bit more. Unfortunately, nobody managed to come close to the world record of 2 minutes and 54 seconds, but that's okay. You guys only had an hour to try and perfect something that's extremely tedious and difficult, and some of your speedruns were very impressive. Two people today managed to get a time under 3 minutes and 50 seconds. Rakesy for Team EU, and Zulu for Team NA. But it was Zulu who came out ahead with a time of 3 minutes and 47 seconds, and Rakesy with a time of 3 minutes and 48 seconds. So Zulu is today's fastest Tutorial Island speedrunner by 1 second. But now the big question, which team came out ahead today? The three members of Team Europe had an average fastest completion time of 4 minutes and 11 seconds. Not bad. However, Framed, KempQ, and Flutton had faster times than Tanzu and Guns Chili. And because of this, Team NA's average was 3 minutes and 54 seconds, which means that Team North America has won their fourth ah. challenge in a row. Yeah.
four wins in a row, guys. Nice job. I did not think that would happen with how the first two challenges went. Not one, not two, not three, four wins in a row. From two players down to two players up, we're feeling good, we have the momentum, and we're making NA proud. You guys now know what time it is. Team NA, you must nominate one player from Team U to go into the banning. Team EU, you must nominate one player from your own team to also go into the banning. Now Team NA, you will be deciding something else as well. You guys get to choose today's elimination challenge. So far, we've had Last Man Standing, RuneScape Trivia, RuneLink, and an Anagram Elimination. So along with choosing a player from Team EU, you'll also be choosing an elimination. You guys have five minutes. She. <laughs> right, um, what are we gonna do then? I guess I'll put myself up, I said I would. The I'm a, they're gonna do a PvP one, I bet. There's gonna be a fight. I hope they don't do the trivial one, or whatever it was, where you gotta try and, like, decipher a word, because I bothered, man. So, who are we voting on our team? What are we saying? I'll go. So I think off the bat, I had a I had a gut feeling that this would be very hard to win. So I wasn't too surprised, and um, I, I felt like I deserved to go as well because I I just I felt like giving up honestly. And I I think if you if you feel like giving up, you should put your neck on the line for the team. Are you sure, dude? We're gonna be so f***ed, you know that. Like dingy, it's like it's over. Any of us could go now. Yeah, because it's against each other, isn't it? So I think it doesn't really matter who we pick. How we started so strong and now there's two of them. Yeah, left like after that. Cloud was cloud helped, not gonna lie. Yeah. Especially with the I mean the first challenges were PVM and PvP based. The last ones have been Yeah, it could have been anyone's. Like more technical to do with different things. Guns Chili, he wanted to nominate himself because he got the slowest time. And then I think me and the other Tom were just like, yeah, so <laughs> fair enough, we can't argue with that. <laughs> Obviously, Rexy. Obviously, Rexy. That's it. <laughs> That's just as simple as that, Rexy. It sucks to say this. They're all good players, but Rexy, we haven't had a PvP challenge in a while, and Rexy seems like he's done the most PvP. So our thoughts were, let's get him potentially out of the way by putting him in the elimination round. Uh, uh, is well, it going to be four v two? Yes. Yeah. Should we have it be? Um... I'm thinking the, an the, the anagram The one. anagram kind of thing, because I really want Rixie to lose, so. <laughs> 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 like, like, he's going to be good at PvP against those two. He's, uh, I don't know how good at uh, Rune Link he is. There's uh, solvers, there's solvers out there, so. Yeah, I know, but he's he's not going to use that. You don't know that. No, he, would, he wouldn't do that. It, Dude, that, that that's, is he a good guy? He's an honorable man. He's, he's a good an guy? honorable man. Okay. He's okay. a really good guy, man. That's all, right, all I'm right. saying. Man, I know how good of a guy he is. Yeah, he's a really, really, really good guy. <laughs> so yeah, I would say um, I don't know. Do you think Rune Link? Well, he lost the last one, right? Or or what? If he had lost, he wouldn't be here. Right? He won the last one. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 said, I said that, and then yeah. I have a feeling Gunskilly would be really good at uh, Rune Link. Or who do you think would be? I don't know. I think Gunshilly. the and well, okay, if they choose like Gunshilly though, I don't know if he'll do good at anagram. I like anagrams. I think that one's interesting. I think he'll yeah. get confused. You know what? He'll be like, what you is that? I, I think it's the most fair the uh, challenge, and you know what? We're being like merciful, maybe. The anagram. Anagram, yeah. Yeah, it's a fun one. I think we should do that. Yeah, anagram. Okay, so that's it. Yeah, yeah I think so. Cool. We figured when we uh, heard that we got to pick the challenge or for the elimination that we wanted to, you know, f him up, right? Because like we, we were thinking, what is he probably the worst at here? I, I vaguely remember from last week that he was not really good with the anagrams. So that's what we had, had to choose, of course. Welcome back to the fifth banning of the season. Team NA, who will you be nominating from Team EU to go into the banning? Rakesi. <laughs> it's me, I, I expect. Oh, nice. Rakesi, welcome back to the banning. Team EU, who are you nominating from your own team to go into the banning? We nominate, unfortunately, Mr. Guns Chili. All right, we have Guns Chili, who actually helped Rakesi stay in the game last week, now facing him in today's banning. Another challenge, another nomination for the Bannon. I sent Soto Mission to the depths last week, and now I have to face the guy that helped me. Team A, you guys also get to choose the elimination today. Anagrams. 
Oh, come oh. on. <laughs> he literally just said, like, oh. Oh. Okay, the anagram challenge. So we have Guns Chili versus Rakesy in the banning. To fight for your place to stay in the game, Team NA has chosen Run It Back. In Run It Back, each competitor will be given a list of the same five item spawns around the map. All you have to do is be the first person to bring me back all of the items. You can use whatever teleports you'd like, you can use the OSR's wiki, everything is fair game. Just make sure that the item you bring back is from its spawn location. The first person to bring me back all five items will win today's banning and stay in the game. Loser will be the fourth person eliminated from Team Europe. Go ahead to your bank, grab your teleports, and then we're getting started. I'll help you out, right? So you should get um, house tabs with scrolls of redirection. Thank you. That's going to help. What's it called? A scroll of redirection. I had a game plan. It was, you know, pretty much the third time I'd had to do this. So um, I had a, I had a game plan. I had myself prepared. I had my player owned house nice and organized, and my teleports ready to go. So I don't think this scavenger hunt thing is is too difficult, and it's especially not as difficult as the actual tutorial island speedrun itself. Right, I am ready wait, wait, to lose. Wait, wait, wait. The first person to bring me back the five items at last man standing wins today's banning. The list is now out. Good luck. Oh, I know where another one is actually. I got two. I don't know the rest. Can someone tell me the top one? <laughs> <laughs> Looted yeah, the bronze the pickaxe, so I've had the hop as well. Where the f even is the bronze pickaxe in this castle? I thought it was on the top floor. I'm not gonna lie, the anagrams, they're not really my cup of tea. I just have to hope that Guns Chili's doing as bad as me. Oh, it's on the Wooden. top floor of the tower, isn't it? It's not, uh, it's not yeah. either bag. Wooden <laughs> oosh, oosh, oosh. Yeah, I do not know. La, clagger, rag, racla. Dude, I honestly have no idea. These anagrams we had to solve for this elimination were the same ones that we had to solve during the last challenge. Luckily, I was able to remember most of them. Man, I honestly have no idea what number four is. I, I, my brain is just not working. Garacle, what is yeah. that? Yeah. You're I... so close. Garacle. <laughs> <laughs> Largeek. Mm, he's made uh, it. Uh, is this okay. it? <laughs> I'm so upset. I don't That's know. That's all what five. Doing. Guns Chili wins. I had a rough challenge and I was worried that I would be in the banning too. But fortunately for me, the anagram elimination was in my favor and I'm still in the games. I don't know how Tanzu and I are going to do this though. Draenor Village. It's garlic in it. As soon as you said Draenor Village. Garlic. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, actually got it from that. Oh, as no. soon as you wow. this is like what Draenor is meant for. Good. Nice banning, you guys. Guns Chili, you're still in the game and have a chance to win the 1 billion GP. Rakesy, unfortunately, your ride ends here, my man. Super strong competitor, I'm sure we'll see you back someday. Any final words for everyone left? It's been a pleasure, guys. I'll be completely honest. I've never felt so picked on One, in two. my entire life, in all honesty. <laughs> um, it's been a pleasure. Hopefully, if there's a, a V2 of Gillenor Games, I may be invited and Please don't use this against me, but I have no idea how to do these little deciphering of letters. I can barely read them at the best of times. This was not fair.
Okay. Yeah, we kind of knew sh- that when we picked. It the should have been so, a PvP welcome. fight. I would have stood a better <laughs> yeah. chance. <laughs> Obviously, that's why we didn't do it. Good luck with the rebuild, brother. Sucks to lose Rakesy. Uh He was uh, he was a very valuable member. He kept our spirits up as well. He's a super positive guy, always like trying to mo- motivate us. So it, it sucked to lose him, but the the challenge is the challenge, you know. It looks like NA might be able to secure this win. And funny enough, in the beginning of the Gilinor games, that did not seem to be the case. We lost two in a row, and then we won four in a row. Well, that's it, you guys. Six challenges are officially done and dusted. Team NA, you still have four players. Team EU, you're down to two. I think it's safe to say that the next challenge is a must win for you guys. So make sure to wear your thinking caps for next week. I'll see you guys soon. So now it's just me and Tom. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I think that they think they've won. And they're getting a bit cocky. I'm going to have to peck them down a bit. Yeah, Kevin had a plan, all right. Kevin's the type of dude to have his own notification bell on. Kevin's the type of dude to buy a laser pointer at a scholastic book fair. Kevin's the type of dude to put LOL at the end of sentences because he doesn't want you to think he's mad at you. Kevin's the type of dude to make Nickelback jokes in 2020. Kevin plays casual instead of competitive on Halo 3.